What 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 everybody and welcome back to The Domain, the final episode of the Flustered MCX, I was about to say trilogy, but this is the seventh episode. <laughs> and they've all been really substantial in length, like I did an original video where I unboxed all of these wonderful customs from Flustered MCX. But here's the thing, I can't show them all off in the detail I want in one video because it would be an hour long. So I segmented it into different themes. I had a Halo Reach episode where I looked at original concept art for Halo Reach and the Spartans that that Flustered MCX designed from that concept art. Then a Mark 7 episode, including Katia's a Flood episode, showing off a custom 3D printed skewer. And we just, in the last one, looked at some Halo Reach ODSTs. That ODST, let me tell you, don't know how this could ever be topped. One of the best 3D printed figures I will ever see in my life. And yes, I said 3D printed. Many of these parts and many you'll see in these videos are 3D printed by LS 3D Printing. And you can check him and Flustered MCX out on Instagram. I really hope you can support them and they are the pinned link in the comments and the description down below. I've saved the best to last. It's elite time. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elites to show you today. <laughs> Eight elites, oh my goodness. And they've got a ton of accessories, a ton of printed and painted weapons. Oh. It's a great day, it's a great day. The first elite that we've shown off in a previous episode is this Arbiter. I presented him at the very beginning because he just stood out to me because he has a 3D printed head. A 3D printed head Arbiter, can you even believe it? And yes, again, LS3D printing on Instagram, you can buy these. There have been many different heads that he's printed. We're gonna have a look at a couple today. So that's the Arbiter and it was painted by Flustered MCX, got some really great detailing, but I showed that off in a previous episode. LS3D printing, has mastered how to make this elite head and it looks so fantastic, especially with those teeth. And when Mega announced the new Ritas Vedum figure, everybody was thinking, what about the mandibles? Look at this, missing mandibles, but still all that detail with the teeth and the eyes. Gorgeous, man, gorgeous. This, I guess, is Ritas Vedum and the Arbiter and he has a purple energy sword, which is always great. They make a dynamic duo and this Ritas Vedum has some reinforcements, two elites back to back. Look at this for a squad, man. What an absolute squad. <laughs> they are ready to take out anyone that stands in their way. That Rotas Venom is so menacing. I love it. I absolutely love this custom. And they've been painted wonderfully. I've mentioned before, uh, Flustered MCX is really good at taking like whites and then having highlighted details on top. The blue just shines, stands out against the elite, against this plain white. And you may also notice he has a 3D printed plasma rifle. Yes, man, that looks so good. And it's actually pretty small. Uh, I assume it's probably made to be like canonically uh, size accurate. Works really well for me. We saw another custom that had this plasma rifle and we can also see a gorgeously painted plasma pistol here. This is a carbine that comes with the Arbiter versus Master Chief, but I'll give this lovely plasma pistol to this elite as well. Flustered MCX for the sake of the video also included all of these weapons, which will add to our elite in a little bit. And then look at this. Ooh, what on earth are those? Well, they belong to an elite that is so massive. Let's add this in. You clip these shoulders on, look at that. You literally clip them on, that's, that's so seamless. Ooh, buddy, look at this guy. He is so menacing. And yes, he is absolutely massive. Look at the size comparison. <laughs> the size comparison of this thing. <laughs> he's, he's a beast. Let's compare him to a Halo Infinite Marine. Yep, that's not MCX, all right. Uh, you know, Mega, and this has always been a, a back and forth conversation. Yes, Mega always makes all of their figures the same size. Elites, Brutes, Marines, Spartans are all the same height. And that is for a very valid reason that they're all meant to be compatible with all the vehicles in the range. And I agree with that, actually. I think they should be compatible. It's literally an extra piece of torso that's been spliced on. I won't mess with it too much, but I think it's probably gonna be. Yep, there we go. So you can pop that in like it's a normal torso. And that's seamless. I was a little nervous then. I didn't want to break it, but that actually worked really well and looks insane. 
I, the, the more I'm looking at it, I'm like, hold, hold on a second. This, <laughs> this is pretty outrageous. And for an outrageous elite, he deserves outrageous weapons. And yes, he has 3D printed hands as well. And how about another? Look at that. Okay, so it doesn't have the additional piece of torso, so it's not as big. These ones, uh, I think, are more glued on, which suggests that they might not be 3D printed. Then again, it might be a shoulder glued onto this piece. I'm gonna have to find out exactly what is 3D printed. I'm really excited to find out. Damn, dude. Like, damn. I mean, these heads are definitely 3D printed, right? But like, damn. Ah, ah, ah he looks so good, elites. He looks so menacing. I'll give you a plasma repeater. Damn. All right, we've got two more elites and happily I can report that I'm taking one of them home with me. Okay, first we've got this and this just screams Halo 3, right? This is like exactly Halo 3 elites. This is, it's it's gorgeous. I'll tell you what, he's got a green one, so I'll give him the dual wield green ones. There we go. Again, like you look at these from the surface and you think they're McFarlane figures. Like honestly, they could be absolutely massive. If you took this from a distance, you would really think that each of these was like a full scale figure. This looks like a McFarlane level figure. Don't know, like you're never gonna tell me different. This looks like a McFarlane figure. I'm so impressed with it. Same with this one, man. Like pretty unbelievable that this is like actually what people can achieve. That it's like, it's not, it's not even MCX anymore. It's something, something like evolved. It's like MCX evolved. That's actually a good name for this series, MCX evolved. And the final one for today, I am pleased to report that I'm keeping this one myself. It's this custom painted Elite Warlord from Halo Heroes. I always loved the Elite Warlord from Halo Heroes and I didn't want to take too many of these 3D printed and molded ones. I wanted to take something that, uh, you know, didn't set uh, flustered back that much. Look at the distance between these two fingers, man. So cool. I'm in love with uh, electric blues, light blues, sky blues, and like I especially love when uh, they're painted with vibrant colors that make them pop even more. Yellow and blue is a great combination here. And I'm really impressed by it. I said to Flustered, I was like, please, can I take this one, please? So he allowed me to take this one and a couple of the Flood. And this is definitely gonna be a main elite general in a lot of my dioramas, particularly maybe Reach or Infinite dioramas, he will be my general. Man, oh man. I mean, what, what do we say about this, guys? <laughs> What do we say? The macro lens can't even fit it all in, so I'm gonna switch to the normal lens to finish off this video. My oh my friends, this is quite the elite haul. Pretty, just pretty unbelievable. I, I honestly like, I'm lost for words that these are all in my possession right now. I'm sending most of them back, but I do get to keep this gorgeous blue Elite Warlord, which I'm really happy about. It's like not even the craziest with like 3D printing, but it's just like really stood out to me as a beautiful selection of colors. And uh, I'm happier that I could take it home as well as two Flood and the Banished Skewer. And that just about concludes our Halo Flustered MCX tour. It's so funny. It's like this has been seven videos I filmed them back to back the day before I leave America and I gotta say it was a pretty great thing to be doing uh, On my last uh, day like this is a really fun project something that I hope uh, you will all support now I really do hope that you all go to flustered MCX on Instagram LS 3d printing on Instagram even wildfire customs on Instagram and give them all a support because they are some really special people and they've been making some stuff that will go down in history as like the legacy of MCX. So shout out to Flustered MCX for giving me this opportunity and being patient with me to make these videos. I know it took a while to get these out the door. I just wanted to make sure that they were done in a space where I was comfortable to like take a long time doing it and showing everything off to its full potential. So yeah, let me know down below which your favorite custom was. There's gonna be a full playlist of all these videos and I hope you continue to support them into the future. As always folks, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there and the Elite Warlord is signing off.